Prish. Nate, what's an underappreciated storyline in your world? All right, let's start this thing off. So my underappreciated storyline is Felicia Jones, who is Lamar Jackson's mother. There's been a lot said about her becoming his manager and him not hiring an agent. Now, let me get this out the way. Majority of agents, they charge 3%. So paying a lawyer an hourly rate to negotiate a contract that is already pretty much set and based on a rookie scale versus paying an agent 3% of that, it's basically saving him hundreds of thousands of dollars already before his career even starts. So that's the financial side of it. Now, here's something you may not know. At 13 years old, Lamar Jackson's father died when he was eight. Lamar's grandmother passed away the same day. Lamar said that his mom told him, don't cry, we're going to do better. We're going to amount to something. Some powerful words. Who knows football, knows at that level, you cannot be a starting quarterback in the team's starting punt returner. Now, we are here a week after his pro day, mm -hmm. three weeks away from the draft. Most people are criticizing her for being too involved in his life, ready to say, bye, Felicia, um, but not me. Uh, it's easy to call her the mama bird who doesn't let her babies leave the nest, but that wasn't her. Not only did she push Lamar out of the nest, but she taught him how to play like a cardinal and soar like an eagle. I just want to say this. I thank this woman for being a strong black woman who stepped up in the face of hard times and raised a strong black man. So in the words of Tupac, you are appreciated. Oof. Love that, Nate. Great work there. Fantastic. Yeah. That's great. Um, awesome stuff, Nate. Yeah, I'm going to go it. with another quarterback. I'm we have go... to meet her, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Down at the draft in Dallas. I Good understand she doesn't love, she, so she wants him to be the story. I understand she wants, she doesn't want to do interviews. She doesn't want to make it about her, which I really respect. Yeah. That she wants it all to be about Lamar, and she's the behind-the-scenes person, the behind-the-scenes confidant and mom. But I kind of hope she'll come kick it. Of course. We want to hear from her. Yes, we absolutely do. Uh, one quarterback to another, a guy who didn't win a Heisman Trophy is Tom Brady. And my underappreciated storyline is not Tom Brady's greatness, but maybe it's Tom, Brady, Tom Brady's ability to meet, prosper, and succeed with new guys every single season. Now with Danny Amendola, one of his best friends and most trusted receivers, Deion Lewis, one of his most trusted backfield mates, and now Brandon Cook's gone. My underappreciated storyline is the fact that the quarterbacks all across the league have their go-to guys. This Patriots quarterback has thrown a touchdown pass to 68 <laughs> different men I almost spat out in his water. career. What? 68. And for me, I love going through the list. Let's go through it. Rob Gronkowski, Randy Moss, Wes Welker, Julian Edelman, Dion Branch, Aaron Hernandez, Daniel Graham, Ben Watson, David Patton, Troy Brown, Christian Fourier, James White, David Givens, Kevin Falk, Danny Amendola, Chris Hogan, Mike Vrabel, the coach of the Titans, Vrabel! caught eight Touchdown passes from Tom Brady. Brandon Cooks had seven. Shane Vereen, Brandon LaFell, Jabbar Gaffney, Tim Wright, Rutgers legend. Martellus Bennett, what up, Marty B. Dion Lewis, Scott Chandler, Malcolm Mitchell, Aaron Dobson, Danny Woodhead, Rache Caldwell, Brandon Lloyd, Bethel Johnson, my favorite Chris Berman nickname, Temple Bethel Johnson, <laughs> Dante Stallworth, Kembrell Tompkins, Rex Burkhead, wow. Doug Gabriel, Jermaine Wiggins, Antoine Smith, Chad Jackson, oh my gosh. Corey Dillon, Sam Aiken, Donald Hayes, not Tom Brady, Kyle Brady, the Penn State tight end, Keyshawn Martin out of Michigan State, Chris Baker, Mark Edwards, Algie Crumpler, Brandon Tate, Tim Dwight, Brandon Bolden, Dwayne Allen, Terry Glenn, <laughs> Michael Floyd, Heath Evans, Larry Centers, Brian Timms, Timms, like Sims, but not Phil Sims, Brian Timms, <laughs> Patrick Pass, Michael... <sighs> Who man, the man, the who man? The who man. <laughs> Chad Johnson, Tom Ashworth, David Thomas, Charles Johnson, Lawrence Maroney, Andre Davis, Matthew Mulligan, Matthew Mulligan, Matt Langle, Diedrich Ward, Cam Cleland, and last but not least, a guy who won a couple of Super Bowl rings with, I'm exhausted here, LeGarrette Blunt. That is 68 different players so Tom Brady has thrown a touchdown <laughs> pass to. And here's the crazy part. That list is going to grow and grow and grow because they just got rid of three of his top targets. Yeah. It never ends. Tom Brady, you're appreciated everywhere. Tom versus time is all that stuff is great. To do this with so many different guys, it is underappreciated, and you're going to have to do it with even more next year. Hats off to you, my man. I never 68 different receivers. 68 guys. That has to be a record, right? I mean...
Uh, I would assume so. He has every other record. That's crazy. Amazing. I love that you're talking about wide receivers because I want to talk about the forgotten ones. We were all talking about the big deal. Sammy Watkins signed the Allen Robinson move to Chicago. That big swing, the trade with Brandon Cooks, go now to L.A. And we always 24-7 talk about Odell Beckham Jr. All these guys are going to come back and have great years. But there are you just know guys that there's one receiver maybe two maybe three that we are not talking about that we are totally avoid like they're not even on our radar that right. they're going to jump on the scene sure. and make waves this year so i want to give a little bit of love to them so coming off that cook's trade everybody's all they need to take a receiver they need to add one or thank god elements back to pick up the slack but do you know who made some of the biggest plays? Guys, tell me, who made some of the biggest plays in the historic comeback by the Patriots against the Falcons in Super Bowl 51? So many guys. Malcolm Mitchell! Malcolm Mitchell. Think about this. Five catches. You're looking at him right here for 63 yards. He, that's all in the fourth quarter. He picked up four first downs in that quarter alone. He was crucial to them coming back and winning the Super Bowl. And this, what you're looking at right here, mm. is the last time we saw him. He's a guy who has showed potential. He's gotten better. And uh, he's still on the roster when Brandon Cooks and Danny Mandola are not. I think, you know, them, even the Patriots making this deal is a vote of confidence that his knee is healthy and right. he's going to take a big step this year. Mm. In Chicago, everyone's talking about who? Allen Robinson, right. Taylor Gabriel, Turbo, we love you. You're getting all the love. How about Cam Meredith? He who won my fantasy league in 2016. Nice. Do we forget how good he is and how good he was back then? Looking at this, he is dead on with Allen Robinson that same year. Allen Robinson was a wide receiver one in Jacksonville. Meredith had Alshon Jeffrey there. Meredith alongside Allen Robinson now could be the one-two punch that I have been missing and wanting right. in Chicago. And don't even forget the forgotten Kevin White who's come back oh, I stay yeah. rooting for. Last but not least, Quincy Anunua just signed as a restricted free agency tender. Anunua, let's not forget, led the Jets in receiving last season mm -hmm. with three different starting quarterbacks. He was a nice surprise last year, and I think with some stability there, with what the Jets are trying to do, he will only improve this year. So these are the underappreciated forgotten wideouts that I think we need to keep an eye on because, you know, one of them is going to be in that upper echelon conversation when all are said or done. I love it. I love, love that. It. Always the case. The young wideouts. Underappreciated storylines. What are yours? Hashtag GMFB to hit us up. Uh, we will continue. Why do I have this towel? Am I Bradley? Bradley Chubb today? Uh, we'll continue our... What about Bradley Cooper? Uh, it's the Tournament of Champions. I can't believe this made it this far.